Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. Blessed be your name forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to your holy name forever and ever. Hallelujah. Lord, I magnify you because you are God forever and ever. Hallelujah. Lord, I praise your holy name from eternity to eternity. You alone are God. You are the almighty God. Lord, I bless your holy name. I glorify your name. You are my Lord. You are my God. You are my Father. And we honor you, almighty God. We praise you, almighty God. We glorify your name, almighty God. We declare that you are a glorious God. You are the only true God. You are the mighty one of Israel, the owner of Israel, the king of Israel, the God of Israel, the most high God, the almighty God. We bless your holy name. We honor you. Father, we thank you for another wonderful day, another great day that you, O oh God, have made. This is the day you have made. We honor you. We thank you for it. Father, we are thankful because we know today you will honor your name again among us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you because I know that, Lord, the heaven is open over us and we know that your blessing, O Lord God, rests upon us today in the name of Yeshua, in the name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we honor you. Father, we exalt you. We glorify your name because you are God. And I thank you because men and women will be joining us today and I ask of you to bless the hearers of your word in the name of Jesus. I ask of your mighty God, as many that will be watching me today, they will see your beauty. They will see your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I trust that almighty God, as the heaven is open, here even this morning, in the name of Jesus, you will bless your sons and your daughters with open heavens in Jesus' name. As we have come to this day, this last Sunday, in the month of October, I ask of your mighty God, God, in the name of Jesus, you will do great things in the lives of your sons and your daughters, and you will give them a reason to appreciate you and be thankful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, my friends, I welcome you. It's a wonderful day. It's a glorious day. Please turn with me your Bibles, if you can, to Psalm number 126. Psalm 126. I'll be speaking very briefly this morning. Hallelujah to Jesus. I'm going to be talking uh, and I'm trusting the Almighty God that today the Almighty God will begin to do a great work in your life. That the Almighty God will begin to do a new work in your life as we enter into a new season, into a new day, into a new month. That the Almighty God will open a new page, a new page of blessing for you in the name of Jesus. Please turn with me to Psalm 126. I will read beginning from verse 1 all the way to the end. The Bible says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. It says, Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Hallelujah. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing fruit, the Bible says, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him. Ah, brothers and sisters, I want you to declare with me, my friend, brethren, declare with me and say, the Lord had done great things. You did not see the good things of the Lord in the last month. I declare and I decree to you, in this new month you shall see it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In this new season, in this new month you sh that you are entered into, I pray the name of Jesus according to the word of God. Your mouth shall be filled with laughter. Your mouth shall be filled with laughter. I pray for you. Sorrow, crying is not your portion in this season you are entering into. 
in the new month that you are entering into in the mighty name of Jesus I declare unto you child of God in this new season I declare and I prophesy things are beginning to work for your good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in this new season that we are entering into in this new day that the Lord has made, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be favorable for you. It shall be favorable for your career. It shall be favorable for your business. It shall be favorable for your children. It shall be favorable for your family. It shall be favorable for your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that will be your experience in the name of Jesus. I say, this new day, this new season that we are entering into, it shall be to your advantage. It, no, it shall not be to your disadvantage, child of God. It shall be to your advantage. Things shall work together for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare over you, child of God, in this new season, I say in this new day, in the mighty name of Jesus, it shall bring unto you bountiful harvest according to the word of God. It shall bring to you, uh, it shall bring to me bountiful harvest, bountiful increase, bountiful expansion, bountiful enlargement on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak into the new month in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree, child of God, say this with me, in this new season, in this new day that I've entered into, uh, your star shall shine brighter. I say in the name of Jesus, your star Kuri Mahanda, it shall shine brighter. Your color will shine brighter. You shall be remembered for good in this new day, in this new month, in the mighty name of Jesus. All your tears of yesterday shall be what? Shall be the reason for you to rejoice in this month. The tears of yesterday, in this new season, it shall be turned into celebration. I said the tears and the sorrow and the pain that you have suffered in the previous month, it shall be a season, it shall be the reason for your rejoicing. It shall be a reason for your thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. And now decree over you. I prophesy over you, over your household. I say, in this new season, child of God, in this new month you are about to enter into, in this new day that the Almighty God has made, whatever it is in you, I will pray for myself. Whatever it is in me, whatever is assigned, whatever is secretly working against me, whatever will not bring glory to my Father in heaven, whatever will not bring glory to my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, say with me, O oh Lord, remove it. Oh Lord, destroy it. Let it not return unto me again, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome you again to this service. You are welcome to Restore Us House International Ministries. And I trust the Almighty God. He has told us to bring renewal, to restore lives and cause destinies to be restored. Restoring lives so that you can fulfill your destiny. Our mandate is for you, your destiny to be restored so that you can fulfill the destiny that God has ordained for you from the foundation of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, this day shall mark the turning point where your destiny shall begin to be fulfilled by the order of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I'm going to be preaching on a subject I've entitled, It's a New Day. Be thankful. Can somebody say that with me? It's a new day. Be thankful. Say it one more time. It is a new day. Be thankful. I want you to declare this with me as if you mean it. It is not over for me. I have hope for a better tomorrow. It's a new day and I am thankful. Say it one more time. Say it with me. Say it with me. Declare with me. It is not over for me. I have hope for a better tomorrow. It is a new day and I am thankful. Say it one more time. Say with me. Declare this prophetically into your own life. Say, it is not over for me. I have hope for a better tomorrow. It's a new day and I am thankful. Hallelujah to Jesus. May your magic God honor your words and accept the prophetic decrees in the name of Jesus. Remember the Lord Jesus says, whatever you speak in my ears, Jesus says, that will I do. It says, the expectation of the righteous shall be fulfilled. It shall not be ignored. It says, surely there is an end and thine expectation shall be what? Shall be fulfilled. It shall be established. As you have spoken in the ears of God, I pray and I agree with you that your mighty God will honor your words in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So again, today I'll be preaching on the subject. I say, it is a new day. Be thankful. It's a new day. Be thankful. You see, beloved, let me just say this from the say, My friends, let me start by reminding us of the obvious that we see around us. We do not live in a perfect world. I'm sure you agree with me. We do not live in a perfect world. Our leaders, 
our governments will never be perfect because they are not perfect men the health service the national health service your health system in your own nation will never be perfect the housing system in your nation it will never be perfect the economy the banking system will never be perfect hallelujah to jesus listen to me child of god my friends my brothers my sisters the doctor the gp that you are visiting because of the pain that you have on your hands or your leg or your body he himself they have serious issue than even yourself that they are dealing with they are not perfect the prophet <laughs> the father the papa that you are looking to and you are waiting for him to prophesy over you he himself has serious issues he has serious needs hallelujah to jesus you see because we are in the end times we are in the last days what will happen that means this time this season will show and reveal more imperfection the days will show it will reveal it will expose the imperfection in this earthly system it will show the need for jesus hallelujah to jesus you see the system will fail the system of this world will continue to fail there will be tribulation in this world the bible has said so you know they will all point to one thing to remind you and me and i to remind you to remind us that we need jesus christ more than ever look at what the bible says in john chapter 16 john chapter 16 the bible says there look at verse 33 john chapter 16 verse number 33 the word of god says there these things i have spoken unto you that in me in me only in him that you might have what that you might have peace he says in the world ye shall have what tribulation in this world you jesus has told us ahead of time in this world you will have tribulation only in me you will have peace he said but he said what he says be of good cheer i have what overcome the world that means in this world there will be restlessness there will be uprisings there will be what there will be tribulations but jesus says be of good cheer because only in him is peace he says be of good cheer because in him in him he has overcome the world hallelujah to jesus jesus says he has overcome to all the, the world look at what the bible then says in john chapter 17 look at what it says because there is wickedness in this world the world will hate you you are not of this world for some of us who are saved by the blood of jesus who have accepted the lord jesus christ as our personal lord and savior jesus said look at what he says in uh, john chapter 17 and verse 16 and 17 john chapter 17 verse 16 he says they are not of this world even as i am not of the world then he says sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth the word of God is truth. He says, sanctify them. The only way you and I will be preserved, will be shielded. The only way you will be protected. The only way you can continually be in a position to give thanks to God is by is saturating yourself in the word of God, which is the truth. You see, the good news is this. The Lord Almighty is on your side. The Lord God Almighty, what? He loves you and He cares about you. Oh, the Lord loves me and He cares about me. He loves your family. He is interested in your health, in your well-being, and He is interested especially in your eternal life, in where you will spend eternal life. You see, the Lord's mercy, what? They are new every day. The mercy of the Almighty God over me, over you. They are new every day. Have you not taken? Have you taken the time? To consider where you will spend eternal life after the days you have spent here on earth running up and down pursuing worldly things. Have you considered where you would spend eternal life, your eternity, after you have finished acquiring all the things, the worldly things of this world? This is the opportunity, my brother. This is the same, my friends. Accept Jesus Christ as the Savior of your soul today and serve God faithfully. Serve Him alone. Serve him truthfully with all of your heart, and he will save your soul. Hallelujah to Jesus. You see, the truth is this in this world, as you grow older, your health will be afflicted. Yes, you know, there will be more wars, there'll be more wars in this world. There'll be rumors of war. I am talking about it's a new day. Be thankful. 
It's a new day. Be thankful. So I say, in this world, there will be war. There will be wars. Don't be surprised about Russia, Ukraine, and the European countries, about America. Don't be surprised. The Bible has told us ahead of time that in the latter days, in the last days, not only will be men be seekers of themselves or lovers of themselves, there will be wars. These are the signs of the end times. It says, your health also will be affected. There will be rumors of war everywhere. Families, marriages, and nations will seek for peace. They will be looking for peace all over the place. But it will be far from them. This is what has been prophesied. And it will never change. You see, there will be increased what? Instability all over the world. There will be unemployment, high unemployment. No matter how hard the government or men try and desire, there will still be unemployment. There will be global warming. Scary climate changes will be happening. You know, there will be concern about the climate. People will be worried about that. Those are the prophecies of the end times. Hallelujah to Jesus. There will be what? There will be tribulation. There will be distress in the end times. There will be persecution. There will be famine. There will be nakedness. These are things that the Bible has told us. You see, there will still be what? There will still be evil in the world. And there will still be what? Wickedness in the world. Don't forget that. I just want you to understand some things. Because I say it's a new day. It's a new day. And you must give thanks. I will show you reasons why you must give thanks. And then in all of this, you know, the Bible says we are overcomers. In all of the distress, in all of the tribulation, in all of the persecution, in all of the climate changes, in all of the wars all around us, in all of the lack of peace, unrest, unemployment, global, uh, global warming, climate changes, in all of these things, in all of the nakedness. Is that what the Bible says? Look at Romans chapter number 8. Look at verse 37. Romans chapter number 8. Hallelujah to Jesus. Look at what the Bible says here. Karos, Kalabas, Sulimahanda, Brahanda. Look at Romans. Look at the word of God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Look at what the Bible says. Praise God. Romans chapter number 8. Look at what the Bible says in verse 37. The word of God says there. It says, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. You are more than what? Conquerors through him that loved us. And we shall what? That means if he loved you, he says, we are more than conquered. That means you will overcome in Jesus' name. I pray for you, child of God. You will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will overcome. It's a new day. Be thankful unto the Almighty God. You see, we are beloved of the Almighty God. You are beloved. You are beloved. And his grace, his mercy, the loving kindness of the Almighty God, his faithfulness, the power of the Almighty God, it will always be available for you. You didn't hear me. I said the power of the Almighty God will always be available for you to deliver you, to deliver you, to shield you, to protect you, to provide for you, to sustain you in this present world. He has told us, I read it to you. In all of these things, in all of the famine, in all of the distress, the Almighty God says you are more than a conqueror. So that means the Lord, as long as you are on the Lord's side, He says He will sustain you, He will provide for you. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let me show you a scripture in Lamentations chapter number uh, 3. Praise the name of the Lord. Lamentations on chapter, are you there? Lamentations on chapter number 3. Praise be the name of the Lord. Lamentation, look at what the Bible says. Lamentations chapter 3. Look at verse 22. Lamentations chapter number 3. Verse 22. The word of the Almighty God says there. Verse 22 and 23. 23, 24. The word of God says... It is of the lost mercies that we are not consumed. It's a new day. Be thankful. This is the reason why you have to be thankful. It is of the lost mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. The compassion of God fail not. Look at what it says in verse 23 now. It says, they are new every morning. It's a new day. So that means you have to be thankful because the Bible has revealed to you that the mercies of your mighty God is new for you, is new for me. They are new every morning. It says, great is his faithfulness. And then it says in verse 24, it says, the Lord is my portion. Is the Lord your portion? Is the almighty God your portion? He says, therefore I will hope in him. I don't know who you are hoping in. It's a new day. Hope in the Lord. And the Almighty God will give you reason to be thankful in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, give thanks to the Almighty God for His love and His mercy endures forever. It's a new day. Be thankful, brothers and sisters. Be thankful to the Almighty God. It's a new day. You know, be thankful to God. Think about it. When you say, be thankful. So, the, 
being thankful what am i talking about it indicates your appreciation it indicates your gratitude for the things that the almighty god has done you are thankful you are appreciative and you are grateful for the things that the almighty god has done in your life so you give him thanks you wake up early in the morning and say lord i thank you that's the first thing i said i say before i enter my car thank you lord i'm going on the train thank you every time just continually give him thanks continue to acknowledge his faithfulness in your life his mercy mercies endure it forever hallelujah thank you you see being thankful for what it shows that you recognize what god is doing huh? is god doing something in your life oh let me ask myself is god doing something in my life yes he is doing great and mighty things in my life and you trust him that he will do more for you that is the reason why you are giving thanks so when i say it's a new day be thankful think about those things Oh, meditate on the things that he has done. It shows that you are appreciative of the things that he has done and you are grateful. At the same time, it also shows that you are you are you are thankful and you recognize the, the doing of the Lord in your life and you trust him to do more for you. That is the reason why I thank the Almighty God. What about you? You see, I believe when I think about this, I believe thanksgiving qualifies a person for more. When you show appreciation, when you show gratitude for a thing that somebody did for you or for the thing that somebody has done or said on your behalf that favored you, you qualify, you taught the heart of that person to give you more. They want to give you more. Hallelujah to Jesus. You see, you see, you think about you, you, you that man, that woman hearing me, you that you are evil, you are wicked. Man is naturally evil. We are, we are naturally evil you that you are evil you that you are wicked you know how you think in your mind when when, when you give your heart and money you give your time you give something precious to you 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 give your 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 resource to someone who did not even say thank you in your own heart you will swear in your heart that <laughs> That is the last time that person will receive anything from you. That is natural for man. But thanks be to God that God is faithful. Look at what the Bible says in Ephesians. Let me show you this. This is what God expects you and I to do. Ephesians chapter 5. Look at verse number 20. Ephesians chapter number 5. Look at verse 20 and 20, 21. God, the Bible says there, it says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God. Giving thanks always. It says, I will emphasize that always unto God giving thanks always give thanks learn how to give thanks to God <laughs> ah learn how to appreciate God learn how to recognize his goodness his mercies his faithfulness his deliverance in your life and appreciate him that's what he says he says and the father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and then he talks about submitting one to another in the fear of God hallelujah to Jesus ha karama tori mahada Praise the name of the Lord and submitting one to another in the fear of the Almighty God. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what it says. And submitting one to another. Submitting one to another means helping other people as well. Reaching out and appreciating other people. I say to you, it's a new day. Be thankful. If you say you have no reason to thank, to be thankful, look around you. Just look around. Take a moment. Look around you. Consider your life and consider your situation today. Now consider the uh, consider the loving kindness, consider the mercy, consider the, the the faithfulness of God in your life. You see, you you are counted among the living. If you don't say, if you say, I have nothing to be thankful about, or you say, oh yes, it's a new day, but I have nothing to be to 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 show gratitude about. You you are counted among the living. <laughs> your organs are functioning. You are not under drip. You are not hearing me from the hospital bed. You can hear me. You can see me with your own eyes. Brother, sister, be thankful to the Almighty God. Be thankful to the Almighty God. You see, that reminds me. Remember the song Grata. He, he, he sang the song. He wrote and he sang the song. He says, Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. You see, that's why I say it is only a person 
who can recognize, who can think and look around him and consider where you are today. Consider the kindness of God to you. Consider the mercy. Consider his faithfulness to you. Consider your children. Consider your wife, your husband. Consider that, <laughs> oh, Rabbi Suprahanda. Consider that you are not on hospital bed. They are not passing drip in your body. They are not force feeding you. <laughs> Hold my hand. They are not force feeding you. You are not visiting your children in the hospital. Hallelujah. That is a reason to thank God. You can see me with your own eyes. <laughs> Even though you need sunglasses, so you need uh, glasses. So it's still, you see have eyes. <laughs> you say I'm using ear aids. <laughs> While you're waiting for healing of your ears, why don't you thank God? Maybe that is what your healing is waiting for. Hallelujah to Jesus. You know, instead of murmuring, instead of complaining every time, instead of grumbling, instead of thinking to yourself every time, why me? Instead of asking, why are things not working for me every time? Rather, I urge you, my brother, my sister, pray and give thanks to the Almighty God. You see, you have more reasons <laughs> to be to be what to be grateful for, and you have more reason to be excited about. You you know you have hope for a better tomorrow. You are alive. You have better hope for a better tomorrow, a better month, and a better year. It's a new day. Be thankful to the Almighty God. That is my mission this morning. Look at what the Bible commands us to do in Philippians chapter number 4. I'll read it to you. Philippians chapter number 4. Look at what the Bible says. Look at verse number 6. It says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Three things. Be careful for nothing, but by prayer and what? And supplication with, with, alongside. So you say, I pray, nothing is changing. Hmm? They say supplication. Put fasting to it. <laughs> you put supplication, you put praise to it, put worship to it. Then you add thanksgiving to it. Lord, I thank you that you have answered me. Hallelujah to Jesus. That's what it says. He said, let your request be made known unto God. Three things he said there in that Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. He says, but in everything, by prayer you say i have prayed with what with supplication and supplication and then they say with alongside it add thanksgiving to it and that's why the lord has sent me to you this moment even this hour to say it's a new day you have been praying you have been fasting add thanksgiving to it that is the instruction of the almighty god we have talked about praying the importance of praying we say pray on and until something happen pray on something will happen pray on something happen push Pray on, something happens. Pray with that season, the Bible says. But, you see, you think about this. When you are thankful, your life, you recognize that your life is in the hands of the Almighty God. It is not in the hands of the wicked one. It is not in the hands of any wicked man. All the wicked and evil weapons and arrows of the enemy that are fired every day, they have not prospered over you. Is that not a reason for you to be thankful to the Almighty God? The desires of your enemies... They are waiting for you to die. They are waiting for you to fold. They are waiting for you to come and beg them. God has not granted it. It has not come to pass. Is that not a reason to be thankful to the Almighty God? God, Almighty God, has fought your battles. Do you know how many places your name has been has been mentioned? Or, 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 or how many altars? How many shrines? Do you know who has been speaking evil concerning you? Concerning your children? Concerning your destiny? But your Almighty God has not permitted all their declarations to come to pass. Rather, He calls you a winner. <laughs> Thank you, Almighty God. I use this time to say thank you. Why don't you join me and say, Lord, thank you. Just take a moment and say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I am grateful to you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank God. Take this moment to thank the Almighty God. Be appreciative. Be thankful to the Almighty God. Be thankful, child of God. You see, the Lord is attentive to hear your voice. Let me show you in the Bible. See, look at Psalm 34. Psalm number 34. Look about from verse 17. I will read this to verse 20. Psalm 34, because this is important. The Almighty God says, Psalm 34, beginning from verse 17. The word of God says, The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it, and deliver them out of all their troubles. That is a reason for you to be thankful. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart 
and savor such as be of what a contrite spirit. And then it says, many, 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 Karo, Zalo, Galadia, Lazoya. It says, many, God says, this is the word of God. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. This is the word of God. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. <laughs> I'm sure this was written for me. Because you will see around you, look around you, you will see afflictions. You will see stories. You will see desperation everywhere. The Bible has told us already. But he has said in all things, in everything, give thanks. But the Bible is about to say, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But it says, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Look at what it says in verse 34. Then it says there, sorry, verse uh, 20. It says, he kept all his bones. Not one of them is broken. <laughs> It says, evil shall slay the wicked. I say amen to that. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. All those that hate you, the word of God said they'll be desolate. I pray that for you. All those that are pointing at crispy fingers at you, the Bible said they'll be desolate. All those that call your name in vain, that call your name on evil shrine, on evil letter, wishing evil for you, for nothing's sake. The Bible says, they shall be what? They shall be desolate. All those that are cursing you, Harakata. Is it not written in the Bible? Proverbs 26, I said to in verse 2. It says, At the bird by wandering, as a swallow by flying, so the curse that is costless, it shall not stand. Against me, no curse can prosper. What about you? I say the same for you. No curse, no spell, no ancestral, no generational curse will walk over you. As you listen to me, as you hear me, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever it is that is causing people to fail in your family, you are exempt from it because you are now of the root of Jesse. You belong to Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks for you. Whatever it is that is killing people in your generation, in your family, my case is different. I will not die but live. It's a new day. What have you spoken to the Almighty? to God about today. Be thankful to the Almighty God. The scripture says the Lord is attentive to your prayer. You see, when you call, you have to call. Especially when you cry to him. He, cry, he promised what? To deliver you. He promised to rescue you from all your troubles. Be thankful unto him. Remember to be thankful unto the Almighty God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Be thankful to him. Now, <laughs> some people say, Pastor, why must I be thankful? I will give you more reasons to be thankful. Do you know? Think about it again. Do you know? <laughs> you say to me, yeah, there are many individuals that are richer than me. There are many individuals that are richer than me. And yet, remember this, I will say this to you. There are many people who are richer than you. This is why you have to thank God. They are richer than you, stronger than you, more connected than you. But let me say this to you, my friend, my brother. You see, they cannot do basic things, basic hygiene. Some of them cannot do basic hygiene by themselves. Some of them walk around with pampas. They walk around with diapers. I'm telling you the truth. Some of them, they cannot lift up spoon to feed themselves. Some of them, they cannot what? <laughs> they, they have to be fed. Some of them are fed. You see, some of them cannot go into the public places without carrying security guards. Hmm? They cannot go into public places without what? Without armored or bulletproof cars. <laughs> they need entourages. They need expensive arrangements, protocols for their safety. Be thankful, my brother. Be thankful, my sister. Be thankful, child of God. You see, you can freely move around on the public transport, in the air, on the land, in the waters, in the bus. They say there are terrorists everywhere. They say there are kidnappers everywhere. They will not see you in the name of Jesus. They will not see your children in the name of Jesus. They will not locate your family members in the mighty name of Jesus. In this new season, they will not locate you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is the reason why you should thank God in advance. Your going out shall be blessed. My coming in shall be blessed. I pray the same for you. Your going out, your children going out shall be blessed. Their coming in shall be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know how many people, as I'm preaching right now, that are considering suicide. They are considering to kill themselves because they cannot see a way out of their horrible situations. They are seeking, they are thinking, how will I make this? How? Which way for me? <laughs> Do you know how many people are afraid of tomorrow? They don't know what tomorrow holds for them. I say to you, child of God, it's a new day. Be thankful unto the Almighty God. Be thankful. It's a new day. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. It's a new day. Be thankful. 
It's a new day. Be thankful to the Almighty God. It's a new day. Karama suri mahan. It's a new day. Be thankful. It's a new day. Be thankful. Be thankful to the Almighty God. You and I have been given another chance to do better. You are alive today. <laughs> you have been given an opportunity, child of God, to do better. You have hope for tomorrow. That is why God gave you another chance today. The psalmist said, I lay me down and I slept. I await. For the Lord is the one that sustained you. He has given you another opportunity. He has given me another opportunity to do better than my yesterday. That is why I know. As the heavens cannot fall to the ground. As the sun has never stopped shining. As the moon has never stopped shining. In the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord. The mercy of the Lord will never stop in your life. It will never stop in my own life. It will never stop in your own children's life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is what will happen for you when you are thankful because it's a new day. You and I, you have been given life in another opportunity. God has spared you for a reason. He has given you life for a reason. You have an opportunity to be a better person that loves God and draw closer to the Almighty God. Your secret sins, <laughs> all your secret sins that nobody knows. God did not destroy you. He has mercy over you, <laughs> over me. All your secret anger, all your all your secret backbiting, God has been gracious to you. He did not die in your sin. He did, he did not permit you to die in your wickedness. Can you imagine somebody like me who did not know Jesus? If not for the mercy of God, what about you? If not for his loving kindness that sought for me, can you imagine God seeking for me? He came after me. He came for me. I don't know about you. Just to make sure that I don't rush to hell. I am now in his hands. It is too late. I cannot go to hell anymore because I am engraved in the palm of his hand. He will never forsake me. He will never abandon me. And I pray the same thing for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have an opportunity. So if you have sin in your life, repent today. Many did not have the same opportunity. They did not wake up. Some of them are not hearing this message about the love of God, about salvation, about the opportunity for eternal life, about accepting Jesus. God gave you this opportunity to hear this message, this good news, that God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 and verse 16. So be thankful that you are hearing this message today. You see, God extended his mercy to you, child of God. He extended his grace to you. He extended it to your family. Is it because you are unique? Is it because you are special by yourself? You are not special. <laughs> you know, this morning we had the news. Uh, some people, they died in a foreign country. They just recorded 150 people died, and that's the end of it. They just recorded 76 people died. Several people you will not be a statistic among the dead in the name of Jesus. In this new month, wherever death is coming, whether it is in front, you will be at the back. When death is at the back in the name of Jesus, that day you will not even go out. In the day that the day the road, Haramahund and the wicked forces, they are hungry for blood. In that day you will not go out. Something will happen. You see, I pray that prayer. That Lord, any day that my life will not bring you glory, anything in my life that will not bring you glory, don't let it happen in my life. Let it fail. Many people cannot pray that prayer. If I want to become a multi-millionaire, if you not bring you glory, Lord, don't let me be a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Hello? Whatever it is in me that will not bring glory to God, can you pray that for yourself? Whatever it is that I'm pursuing, if it, if it will not bring glory to God, if it will take me to hell, Lord, don't let it work for me. <laughs> That's a simple prayer. You see, my task this Sunday, this first, this last Sunday in the month of October, is to help somebody out there is to help you to realize that in the midst of all your imperfections, in the midst of all the regrets that you have, in the midst of all your failures, in the midst of all the darkness that is around you, you have every reason still to be hopeful and to be thankful. You see, you may feel that God has not done enough for you. In comparison, you compare yourself, you say, look at Elon Musk, he doesn't even know God. Your own destiny is different. My de destiny is different. Your destiny is different from Elon Musk. You are saying, uh, because he's the richest man, how come he is not a Christian, he's not a believer? Your destiny is different. My eternal life is different. You see, you are comparing yourself to Bill Gates. You are comparing yourself to Aliko Dangote. <laughs> or you are comparing yourself to the richest man in your family or your village or your community. You see, you may feel like you are alone sometimes. You may feel like you are ignored, you are abandoned or you are rejected. But I want you to still, still, I say still. 
see the goodness of God. I think you can see them. You can see them that they have money. You can see the good work they are doing. Somebody buying a, a, a Twitter for $43 billion. <laughs> Some nations cannot afford $43 billion. Somebody is buying one company. Some nations' budget is not up to $43 billion. They are, they are yearly budget. Somebody is purchasing one company for $43 billion. Do they have two heads? Kara Mahanda. Oh, Lord, I am grateful to you that you have not abandoned me. I am thankful to you that you have not forsaken me. I am grateful to you, Lord, that you have not rejected me. Hallelujah to Jesus. You may feel like you are alone. You may feel rejected sometimes. It's okay. The Bible says, in all things, give thanks. That is the desire of God. You see, it does not matter where you are in life. God is still doing good in your life. He's working something for your advantage. And that's why I pray for you that this month it will be to your advantage. This month will be to your benefit. Things will work together for your good. Hallelujah to Jesus. Look at what the Bible says in Psalm number 9. Look at verse 1 of it. I'm reading the Revised Standard Version Bible because it brings it out better. Psalm number 9, verse 1, it says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of the work of thy wonderful deeds. I will do what? I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Don't give God thanks. Uh, Lord, thank you. Uh, you only gave me 500 pounds or 500 naira instead of 1,000. I asked for five, 5 million. You gave me 1 million. <laughs> and thanks, just like that. No. Appreciate it. Whatever God gives you, show gratitude. Whatever it is. You see, think about this. You are not naked. Hello? It's a reason to be thankful. You are not homeless. You are not sleeping rough. You are not sleeping on the streets. I see people sleeping rough. I see people begging for money on the trains, on the buses. You are not begging for money. You are, the, you are not weeping over your children. They are not weeping over you. You are not mentally imbalanced. There are people that in America now, they say the man has been that, that, that went to attack the husband of Pelosi, uh, the Senate uh, woman. They say the man has been chatting things. They say so he's mentally imbalanced. You are not mentally imbalanced. You are not begging for food. That is the reason why you have to be thankful to God. Father, I thank you because you are good. Your mercy endured forever. It is time to see the goodness and the faithfulness of the Almighty God in your own life and around you and give Him the worthy praise. You see, it does not matter what is happening around you, my friend. It does not matter what your what your aspirations may be. You may have aspirations. You may not have gotten there yet. It does not matter. It does not matter where you are on the success scale or the success ladder. Uh, you are, uh, let's say, level 100. You are level 5. It's okay. Give God thanks. Maybe if you give God thanks, God will accelerate your promotion up the ladder. You know, you are saying they have not remembered me. They have not promoted me. Why don't you give God thanks for where you are? At least you have a job. <laughs> you are asking for promotion. They forgot about you. They don't. You, are, you are not on the street. Credit Suisse, a bank here in this country, they are laying off, they are going to lay off two, over 2,000 people, 2,000 members of staff. You have a job, you are not begging for bread. And my friend, it's a reason to appreciate God. There are many companies that are closing down. Many this economic hardship has caught them. But God has kept you. He has kept you. You have a job, you are complaining, oh, they have not promoted me. At least you have a job. Thank God for the job you have. Hallelujah to Jesus. You don't thank God for where you are. No matter, you, you may have a to-do list. Some of us, they, you have spoken to psychologists, experts. They say, when you wake up in the morning, write something you want to achieve. You have written 10 things. You have not achieved 5 of, you have not achieved 2 out of the 10. <laughs> thank God that number 1 should be I'm alive. <laughs> That's the number 1 on the, on the list. I'm alive today. You, you can read what your objective is. You can read what you want to achieve. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Hallelujah to Jesus. Be thankful to God. And then your desires will come to pass. Look at what the psalmist says. Psalm 108, 18. You can take time to read your entire Psalm 118. But because of time, look at what the psalmist said. Psalm 118, beginning from verse 1. The psalmist said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endured forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endured forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endured forever. Look at what it says in verse 5. It says, I called upon the Lord in distress. Malabro dear. Mekando Brahim Taliaba. The Lord answered me. And set me up 
in a large place. This is a man that knows how to dance, how to give gratitude, how to be thankful. As you give thanks to the Almighty God, I pray for you, child of God. May your own testimony be that the Lord has set me up in a large place. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to round up very soon. Remember this. Only the living can praise the Lord. It is only a person who is alive that can have dreams for a better tomorrow. Whatever your aspirations, whatever your desire, whatever your vision, whatever your mission, whatever it is that you desire, oh, I have this strategy, I have these steps, I have um, five steps to victory, 20 steps to success, uh, 15 steps to prosperity, uh, uh, to, uh, five steps to greater tomorrow. Commit your tomorrow unto the hands of God and be thankful to the Almighty God. So what am I saying is only a person who can think only a person that can think or a person who thinks deeply that is the only person that can consider and take the time to see the goodness of God and so what do I say if you have to think deeply then think deeply think of the goodness of God only a person that the Lord gives a heart of gratitude can be thankful may the Almighty God give you a heart of gratitude in the mighty name of Jesus I urge you think where you are today when you are saying oh I have nothing to thank for Think where you are today. Think where you are coming from. Where you have come from. There are many people you have overtaken. Of. There are many people who are better than you. Who are more connected than you. Who are richer than you. You have overtaken some of them. Of. Think of the great things that you have accomplished already. If you think you have not accomplished any great thing. You are listening to me. You have a laptop. You have a television. You have a big screen. You have a house. You have a shelter over your head. Ah, You have accomplished a lot. Thank God for that. Think of the great mountains that you have scaled. Think of the victory that God has given you. Think of the battle that you have won. Think of the battle that God has won on your behalf and declared you more than a conqueror. You'll be thankful to the Almighty God for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Be thankful to the Almighty God for that. Ha. Be thankful to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Be thankful. Be thankful. Hallelujah. I say be thankful. Be thankful to the Almighty God. Be thankful to the Almighty God. Karamataria. Kuri Mahanda Babu Huzukuria. Be thankful to the Almighty God. Be thankful to Him. Be thankful. You know, you have seen the last Sunday in the month of October. There is hope that you will see in the new, you will enter the month of November. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, me and my family, my children, my family, we will enter to November and the years beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is hope that you will see the end of this year in good health, in life, in prosperity, in peace of mind. Is that your own expectation? That is my expectation. I will see the end of November. I will see the end of December. I will enter into the new year as the Lord lives. If Jesus starts in the name of Jesus. So finally, because of time, I will say this to you. As I declare the words of God over you, even right now. And I pray that your mighty God will give you reasons to be thankful. In this new season and in this new month you are, you are about to enter. I urge you, child of God. Keep serving God. Never turn back. Let me say it one more time. I'm going to pray for you. As I declare and I decree the words of God that I have spoken over you so far, and the one I'm going to declare finally over you, I will read the word of God and I will make a declaration over your life. That in this new season, in this new month, in, from this time forward, make a decision that I will serve the Almighty God, the God of Israel. I will never turn back. For me, I will never turn back. For me, I have made up my mind. It is too late to turn back. <laughs> Who shall we turn to? That's what the disciples said to Jesus. <laughs> Who shall we turn to? I have no one to turn to. I have nowhere to go. It is too late for me. <laughs> because Jesus is the owner of my life. I am totally in his hands. Everything about me, around me, of me, in me, about me, is all about Jesus. And I am grateful to him. What about you? Finally, let me read the scripture to you. Uh, Psalm number 20. I'll read Psalm 20. This is my last scripture. Psalm number 20. I'll read the Living Bible Translation. It brings out the text better. The Living Bible uh, Translation. Psalm number 20. I pray for you. I'll read this word of God to you. And this is my prayer for you. Psalm number 20, beginning from verse 4 all the way to verse number 5. He prays and he says, May the Lord... May the Almighty God grant your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. That's the word of God. He says, may he grant your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May there be what? Shouts of joy 
when we hear the news of your victory flags flying with praise to God for all that he has done for you may he answer all your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus so I agree with you and I declare the word of God over your life even right now in the name of Jesus may your mighty God as you give him thanks may he grant your heart desire and fulfill all your plans in the mighty name of Jesus beginning from this day in this new day in this new season may there be shouts of joy when i hear from you when i hear news from you may you experience may it be news of victory over the works of the enemy in the mighty name of jesus may the flags and banners be raised over you over your children and it shall be the word it shall testify of what god has done in your life and may people gather to celebrate with you in the season that we are entering into may your mighty god may he answer all your prayers for his own glory in Jesus name it's a new day brothers and sisters may the Lord Almighty give you reasons to be thankful I say amen to that it's a new month may the Lord Almighty may he give you reasons to be thankful in this season that you are in in this new month that you are entering into light will shine across your darkness may the Almighty God give you reasons to be thankful may he answer all your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus name Shalom the Lord bless you in Jesus precious name God bless you have a blessed week in Jesus name Amen